Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the nose. Now, I know quite a few people who have a hard time drawing noses, and I know why. It's quite difficult to draw sometimes. You know, drawing the nose too high or too low or drawing one curve too big could completely disfigure the face you're drawing. Uh, and that's why in this video, I'm going to share some tips that I found helpful when drawing the nose. Okay, and as you can see here, I have broken down the process of drawing the nose into these simple steps. And um, as you can see, it's drawing the nose from the front view. First, you start off with drawing a circle, and you draw the lines. That's like the basic line of the nose, I guess. And um, you add the nostrils. Now, you can get more detailed with your lines. I just add these to help me with the shading. Um, you know, if the light's coming from the front, you'd have... This is where we'll receive, you know, the light, the most light will be reflected right here along this line. So, you know, okay, it's within this area that I don't shade as much. And, you know, so these lines just sort of help me know that, you know, from here down it kind of curves. So, it won't reflect as much light, so I shade more here. But, you know, it may be confusing for some, so you could just keep it simple and go with that. But, you know, these are the basic steps I use for drawing a nose. And, and, and when, if you follow these steps, it's actually not so difficult. You just bring shading all along the sides here and down this side and just on the sides of the nostrils. And after that, you just kind of build on it. You build on the bottom a bit more. And, and that's all there is to it. It's quite simple. And uh, this process, you know, you can also be applied to drawing the nose from a three-quarter view right here um i've i've done the same thing for a three quarter view same you draw a circle you draw the two lines and you add the nostrils to the sides you know you can keep it simple or you can add you know more you know guidelines to help whichever one works best for you um and then you just shade it it's quite simple now i want to get into um the male and female nose now they're actually um quite different and quite, you know, similar. The construction is exactly the same. You can same, use the same guidelines at, uh, for the male as well as the female. But what's different is the girl's nose, you really want to keep it very simple. You don't want to add any bumps. You want to keep the nostrils, you know, smaller, more dainty. Whereas the guys, you know, you can add whatever you like to it and it'll still look fine, you know. You you can add, you know, this bump here. You can, you know, m you, you want to make the ball of the nose a bit larger and you can, you know, define the nostrils more when you're drawing the guy's nose. You know, you can add a lot more character to it, whereas the girl's nose, if you do that, it's just going to look really ugly. So my advice for you is that you keep the girl's nose as simple as as possible. You really don't want to add any any big bumps here. And even if the subject you're drawing does have those, you know, you can tone it down a bit and I'm sure they won't mind. And guys, you know, even if you do add it, they still look cool. You know, there's Owen Wilson. He's, he's got that big nose, but you know, he, he looks good in it. So, <laughs> that's the difference between female and male noses. But the construction is the same. And I guess that's about it. And, you know, these guidelines are just that. They're guidelines. So you can choose to get more detail with them or just stick with the very basics, like I said. Um, and, you know, for me, what it comes down to is getting familiar with the shape of the nose and the way it's constructed and learning to spot its main attributes. You know, for example, noticing that the tip of the nose of your subject is larger or smaller than usual or that the nose bridge is quite prominent. Uh, those things will help you a lot in drawing more accurate portraits. And, you know, once you get familiar with the curves and shapes of the nose, it'll become easier to draw. Uh, you know, it just takes a lot of practice. And something you can do uh, to practice is look in the mirror and try drawing your nose from different angles. Or you can Google some pictures, some noses, uh, and you can just, you know, practice drawing them. And you can try using these steps and see if they work for you. And, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope this helped. 
and thanks for watching. Also, if you're interested in more tutorials, I've got a lot more on my website at likesketch.com, so you know, feel free to check them out. Thanks again.